Hello! Today, on the eve of St. Valentine's Day, further to our tradition of heart making, I'd like to show you how to weave a heart of Chinese crosses. The pattern is called Chinese cross on the internet. Moreover, I prefer making a practical item instead of just a souvenir. So let me introduce a heart-shaped hot pad. It can be a nice useful gift for your beloved one. As a rule, I create my items together with my daughter. This particular souvenir is rather difficult to make for children. So this time her assistance was consulting me on the shape to choose. So we discussed different options and selected this one. Here is a heart like this and here is another one. Well, actually calves can be different, so it's up to you to choose the shape you prefer. This one can be used if you like to make just a pendant souvenir. However, I'm going to show you the way I create a heart on the example of this hot pad. Here is a pattern. A bit later I'm going to show you one more in more detail. Before I start, let me tell you a few words about the material. I've tried making a heart of newspaper tubes, but I dis dislike the result. That's why I've decided to make use of such an advertising paper. I like this one very much because of its color, especially the red stripe I get out of the edges. I cut a sheet into four stripes. Two tubes will be red. I've been getting trained on multicolored tubes, but I'm going to show you the process on the example of red tubes. With the help of a skewer for barbecue, I get such a red tube of a single stripe. For the chosen heart model, I need 14 tubes like this. A few more words about the material. Here are the tubes made of advertising papers. Another material perfect for flat items like this heart-shaped souvenir is paper like this, waxed from one size, from one side. I've already used it while making flowers. Actually, it is meant to interleave metal pieces at steel works. Well, I do understand that most of you have no access to such paper and I don't think it's really worth looking for. As an option, you can use cookery parchment paper. It is as good for the purpose as advertising paper is. I mean, you don't necessarily have to look for any particular type of paper. Just look around and experiment. By the way, very thin writing paper suits rather well, too. This heart has been made of thin writing paper tubes painted pink. What I mean is, there are plenty of options. The only material I wouldn't recommend is newspaper. In order to make the process easier, I've drawn such a pattern, this one and another one, more detailed. I'm going to post the patterns at our website. The link will be placed beneath the tutorial description. So let's make the first knot. I take two long stripes, 
I flatten the tubes into stripes and shape a look like this. Shape a loop. Please take a look once again. I place the shorter end of the stripe from the front, shape a loop and lead the longer end behind the horizontal stripe. Then I lead it from beneath and through the loop. Here I've got the first knot. I believe many of you have already tried it. So here's my first cross. Let's flatten the next tube and make the second cross nearby. Place the stripe from the front, lead it round, shape a loop, lead it behind the horizontal stripe and wrap the second cross with this horizontal stripe. Tighten it very carefully. Two crosses. Let's repeat once again. Place the shorter end onto the horizontal stripe from the front, lead it down, shape a loop, lead behind the horizontal stripe. This material is not good for volumetric woven items. However, it is perfect for flat items, because it doesn't wear out or crack, it is easy to flatten and it is rather shiny. I've got three knots already. For my pattern I need seven crosses like this. I weave such crosses either left to right or bottom up. That's why I worked out such a pattern. It is easier to work based on this pattern and I believe it must be easier to train with it. So, I woven the first row from the first cross through the seventh. Now I turn the work over and start weaving the following rows bottom up. I've experimented with different types of paper and different lengths of tubes. Based on my experience, I've chosen the perfect heart size and shape. It is made of 14 tubes. In this case, I don't have to lengthen any additional tubes. So take a look please at what I do. I create the next cross near the first one. Place the short end onto the horizontal stripe, lead behind it, hug the cross and lead through the loop. And weave bottom up using the same very tube. Place onto the following stripe. Shape a loop. Repeat all the same actions, but this time bottom up. Take a look, please. I lead through this hole. Then lead through the loop again. Let me share one more trick with you. How to tighten the cross to avoid any gaps between them. I'll try and show you. One, two, well there are actually no gaps to take care of. Through the loop. tighten carefully and 
continue up to the end of the row. In case there is a gap between your tubes, let's analyze how to solve the problem. Here is the tube going round and here, which means I have to pull this tube tighter toward there. This way I've pulled it tight. In order to get a clear idea of the sequence of weaving steps, let's repeat. First of all, I've woven the seven crosses of the first row. Then I've turned it over. Now I have to weave five rows of seven crosses vertically. On the pattern you can see the sequence of crosses weaving. 7, 14, 21, 28. Please bring to note these three top crosses are to be added later. So far I've weaving a close like this. Five columns consisting of seven crosses each. All the same actions. Let's keep repetition, just weave five columns like this. So, following the pattern I've woven most of the heart. The only pieces left to weave are the extreme column and the top row, consisting of three crosses each. Up to this point I've been woven starting from the lowest row. Now I have to weave three crosses starting from the second row. At this stage you can use shorter tube remainder if there are any, instead of long full length tubes. I'll use a shorter tube in the top row. As for this column I'm going to weave it with a full length tube since I still do have the 14th tube. So I'm weaving the last three crosses. The tubes are rather worn already, however newspaper tubes would be broken by this moment, while these ones are still alive and more or less fresh. And the last cross in this column. Lead through the loop and tighten from both sides. Got it. This edge has already been shaped. The only thing left is weaving three crosses from this side. Let's turn the item in order to be weaving bottom up again. I cut the tube tail I don't need anymore and weave crosses based on these three stripes. I've got five tube tails here, so I have to make three crosses on three middle stripes. Well, there are no peculiar tricks about this weaving. The essential thing is to calculate the cross weaving sequence convenient for you. Well, this one is perfect for me personally as a right hander, so I'm sharing it with you. Maybe other weavers will find other options more convenient for them. So, the second cross and the last one. I personally find it easy to weave either left to right or bottom up. Besides, you have to think of the number of crosses and rows to weave and to add. As a result, I've got such a heart. That's all, it is finished. 
At first I've tried hiding these tails from the wrong side. Here's the wrong side and here's the front one. But then I realized there are no need hiding the tails. I just spread school glue from both sides. After the glue fastens, I can cut the tails without fearing of the unweaving. At the very beginning of the tutorial, I mentioned that my daughter did take part in this tutorial too. When she saw this heart, she told me it was shaped wrong. I took a thorough look at it and agreed it was not clearly outlined. Let me show you one more advantage of this item. If you dislike the resulted shape, you can just adjust it the way you like. I'm just cutting the excessive crosses. Let's take a look at what else to get rid of in order to avoid cutting more than I'm supposed to. One, two, and this piece. Three, four. Now I'll get a more expressive heart. This is another peculiarity of this type of weaving that you can correct the shape after you've woven it. To prove my own words, let me show you the way the heart covered with cool glue and fastened looks. The only difference is that I've woven it based on this smaller pattern. Here it is, covered with cool glue from both sides, which has made it more shiny and rigid. However, it is still flexible enough. Now I'm just cr cutting the excessive tails. You can do it with the help of scissors, but I personally prefer such nippers. This hut has been made of motley paper as an experiment. The only thing left is coating it with paint. I prefer acrylic paint. In this case I've used copper and gold. I just sponged it with paint from both sides without even gluing it. It is neither too rigid nor too loose. Such a nice souvenir I've got. Why have I decided to use it as a hot pan? As soon as I have come across these crosses, I've tried and woven them. Then I've seen a hut like this somewhere and I've tried and made it too. It is half a year already since this hut has been used as a hot pad on my desk. As you know, coated with paint or varnish, it is rather practical. Even if you pour a tear out onto it, you can just wipe it and it won't melt down. At the same time, this gift is unlikely to be thrown away or just knock around collecting dust. It will be used and looked at by your beloved one. So, good luck to everybody, especially to those of you who got interested in this idea.